have his babies and leave them to themselves. You teach your babies when they come out, right? You give them, don't do that. This is what you do. You give them a way to live, right? God dealt with us the same way. And he said the woman, he don't want his baby girls dressing in pants. That's right. Because that was, that's what pertains to a man. Pants pertains to a man. You understand, my sister? Pants pertain to a man. You understand? God doesn't want his little baby girls dressing like that. You understand what I'm saying to you? The Bible says don't wear pants because that pertains to a man. Don't wear pants. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither what brothers doing today? And calling it hip hop, calling it cool, calling it trendy. Brothers is putting on skirts and dresses today. And our people exalting that folly, that foolishness. We love it. What's, it, what's my man name? Uh, young Thug. The young Thug. Yeah, young Thug. He wanted a, a best selling record, records you can buy today. We, we exhort that foolishness. You think he saw the white, so called white man buying that man stuff? No, no. Y'all buying his concerts out. That's all people buying all that out. That's all people tell, encouraging him to keep doing, what he, keep doing what he doing, not change. We making him rich in his folly, in a skirt, in a skirt. Which one of y'all gonna have a son and put a skirt on him? But we exalt young thug when he do it. That's, that's, we are, we bugged out. The black man, the black woman, we are bugged, we are sick people. That's right. We are sick people and we gotta change or we gonna remain in captivity. Huh? You, it's, but it's not secret. It's not secret. Not no more, it used to be secret. It used to be, they wide open now. It's no secret. If I was out here in a skirt, who would look at me like I'm normal? Which one? You, I'm normal with a skirt on out here? No, everybody look at me like, yo, my man's is bugged all the way out. So it's not a secret agenda. I understand where you're coming from. I understand that it's it's it's, it's dressed in a fancy um in a fancy uh dressing recovering and with a with a with a, with a slamming beat. His beats is hitting. You understand? He can rap. We got talent. You understand? So they take that and we and they hypnotize us under sin with that 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 good beat, with that good that his, my man's talent. You understand what I'm saying? And we buy it. We buy it. We accept it. We accept him and how he doing, and we and we accept the uh, uh, the secret agenda of the uh, so-called white man, as the sister brought up. Read on. For all that do so are an abomination. I didn't say that my sisters in pants are an abomination. My brothers in skirts are an abomination. Read that again. For all that do so are abomination. Who said that the, all that do so are an abomination? Huh? Say it loud, sis. Say it loud, you said it. Huh? God said that. God said that, that's correct. God says that all, for all that do so are an abomination. And you know we talk, because you didn't know no better. You didn't know, you understand? Ain't nobody condemning you. Christ condemned the sister caught, uh, caught up in adultery. No, he said, I don't condemn you, neither do the father, the father don't condemn you, neither do I. No, he said, no man condemn you, neither do I. Go, go, go in peace and sin no more. So once you hear what you're supposed to do, change, change. You understand? He said, for all that do so are an abomination unto God. All that do so are an abomination. You know what we taught in Christianity? That all the sins we do come as you are. Bring them. God don't care. He hates what you're doing, but he loves you. That's false. That, that, that keeps us continuing in our sins. Give me that in Jeremiah. Give me that in Jeremiah. Uh, four, four, where's that? Four and 44? 44 and 44 four. And four. Uh, what Give me that for? in Jeremiah. Hate God hates abomination and he hates us. He hates the one doing the abomination and he hates the abomination. You understand? God ain't what we, God is not this guy here. Psalm 55. He's not this, he's not this guy here. He's not this guy here that you being taught who just want hugs and kisses. That's not God. That's the lie you were given as a slave to be in subject to your slave master and to remain a servant under him and not under your true father, the true God. So we were given this image to make us dumb and docile. Huh? Come on. Jeremiah 44 verse 4. How be it? I sent, I sent unto you all my servants. All his servants are the brothers teaching you, thus say of the Lord. Not thus say of my own vain imagination. Not thus say of what I want, what makes my heart feel some way, what I'm sensitive to, what I was dealing with. That's not what I'm going to tell you. Whether I feel like it or not, I'm going to tell you, thus say of the Lord. 
Whether you resist it or not, I'm going to tell you, thus saith the Lord. Whether you kill me or not, I'm going to tell you, thus saith the Lord. That's right. That's God sending his servants. Read. The prophet. Uh-huh. Rising early. Uh-huh. And sending them. You know what rising early means? Being diligent and teaching his people. Being diligent. When the whole world is partying and making marriages and drinking and having fun, his prophets come out here to serve his people. The truth. Because you've been lied to for too long. That's right. So we are we remain in captivity because you've been lied to for too long. Right. Y'all been lied to for too long. Read. Say, oh, do not disobey no things. Stop sinning. Wake up, black man. Wake up, black one. Stop sinning. Cut the sin out. You die because of it. That's we right. all die because of it. Read. That I hate. That what? That I hate. God hates the abomination. He hates the abominable thing. Give me Psalms 5 and 5. He hates the abominable thing. He hates the sin. And he hates the sinner. That's right. Let's prove it. Read. Psalms chapter 5 verse 5. Uh -huh. The foolish shall not stand in the sight. Who is, God, who is the foolish? Thus saith the Lord. The foolish are the blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans who don't keep God's laws. The foolish shall not stand in God's sight. Read. No haters. Uh-huh. All workers of iniquity. Read it again. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. We've been lied to, black man. We must keep the keep God's commandments. We must return back to our true God and keep his commandments. Or we will remain in, in sin. We will remain in captivity. And we will remain dying. You understand? Give me back, go back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Go back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. No, no, no. Drop that. Exodus 20. Give me Exodus 20. The sun is about to go down. When it was up yesterday, it was the Sabbath. How many of y'all brothers and sisters knew that yesterday was the Sabbath? I know you knew. You know it's the Sabbath. Did you keep it holy? Huh? Did you keep it holy? I'm going to read this to you. Huh? Come on. Exodus 20 verse 8. Uh -huh. Get out. Remember. The Sabbath day. God said, remember the Sabbath day. Why is he telling us to remember it? Why is God telling us to remember the Sabbath day? Because we go into captivity. He knew how rebellious we was. He knew how rebellious we were made. And we were going to captivity because of our rebellion. And when we go into captivity, we forget his laws as it pertains to the Sabbath. He said, remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Not just understand, today is the Sabbath. The Sabbath is Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. I understand that. I know that. Not just to understand or know when it is, but read. Six days shall thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work. Read. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. And it thou shalt not do any work. Read. Thou nor thy son, uh -huh. nor thy daughter, Read. thy man servant, uh -huh. nor thy man servant. Nothing should work. God, the creator of everything, is at rest. God, I mean, let me make it a little bit lame. When your mom or your daddy was sleeping after a long day of work, you gonna wake up early in the morning or late at night when they come in and they laying down and make a bunch of noise, wake them up, go and say, ah, crying and screaming. Hell no, you gonna be quiet or you gonna get your behind whooped. That's the same understanding. We understand simple things like that, but we don't understand the Sabbath. We don't understand the Sabbath. Read on. For in six days, the Lord made heaven uh -huh. and earth, uh -huh. the sea, uh -huh. and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Uh -huh. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath That's day. Okay. What's your name, bro? My name. Yeah. Oh, no, my bad. I thought you were somebody else. Really. And hallowed it. Uh-huh. That's it. And he said he hallowed it. He made that day sacred. He made that day special. He blessed that day. And he said, in it, you shouldn't do the things that you, he said you shouldn't do. Thou shalt not. He said, you got six days to do your business. Six days. On the seventh, which is the Sabbath of his rest, your behind better be rest too. You better be sleeping too. That's what God said. So you can lie to me. You can front with me. But ain't no fronting with the Most High God. That's right. Ain't no fronting with him. And he gonna hold you accountable to that too. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed 
for a lack of knowledge. God said his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. His people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Why are we here in captivity today? Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. But you all getting the knowledge today. Whether you understand it or not, your lives will never be the same after right now. Is God destroying us from lack of knowledge? I'm sorry? Is God destroying us from lack of knowledge? Who destroying us from lack of knowledge? No, who, we destroying ourselves for That's a lack right. of knowledge. Right. We are destroying ourselves for a lack of knowledge. Read on. Watch this. And this is, this, just read on, read on. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Because some of us have gotten that knowledge and we turn away from it. We say, you know what? I am about to tell him I believe what he just said. I ain't about to tell him that he, 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 when he taught me, thus said the Lord, with them, with them brothers who's out there saying, I believe it. I ain't about to tell him that though, so I can continue watching ass up here on the boardwalk. So I can continue smoking my dope. So I can continue breaking God's law. So we won't say nothing to my, I'm not going to admit to my brother that I believe what he said. But they made perfect sense of this. Right? Read that again. Because thou hast four or seven. Four and seven. Read. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Uh -huh. I will also reject thee. For those who hear it and reject it, God said he's going to reject you. And he ain't put cover yourself up, sis. Your, your uh, cleavage here. God said because you reject knowledge, he's also going to reject you. He's going to reject you. Because you heard the truth. And you turn away from it. You say, I ain't gonna tell my brother I believe that. What's I'm gonna truth? keep front. This is the truth. Give me the truth, bro. Give me the truth. Let's show the brother what the truth is. Cause it ain't. Remember them uh -huh. which have the rule over you. Who got the rule over you? Right huh? Read on. Watch this. Who has spoken unto you uh -huh. the word of God? That's who got the rule over you. The men who speak the word of God to you. The men who teach the word of God to you. Because that's what's going to save your soul Bring it and out. your flesh. You understand that? You understand that? The word of God comes through certain men, come through the prophets of God. Those are your masters. Right. Understand, the, the, remember the end of their conversation to do it. Jump down to 17. Watch. Verse 17. Read. Obey them that have the rule over you uh -huh. and submit yourselves. For they watch over your soul. For they watch for your souls. Read it right. For they watch for your souls. Who are your masters? Who are your rulers? The men teaching you the word of God. The men saving you from death. Yes. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit 
www.israelunite.org.